Hey, Save Jerseyans, happy Wednesday. This is Matt Rooney, your Save Jersey blogger in chief, coming to you from Camden County, our Save Jersey uh, forward command, if you will. Uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about the budget address that you heard yesterday from Governor Corzine. I'm sure most of you watched at least part of it, even if you couldn't stomach the whole thing. It was pretty grisly, wasn't it? Uh, but that's to be expected when your state is badly mismanaged, uh, robbed from, stolen from, uh, by a bunch of uh, greedy, corrupt, uh, far-left politicians for a decade plus, and that's what we've had here in New Jersey. And that, uh, that's why two things really stuck out to me during yesterday's budget address. First of all, I couldn't get over the fact that Governor Corzine acted like somehow he just was materialized in the middle of this budget crisis, like he just got plopped down in the middle of it. And uh, before that, he'd either not been present in the Garden State, which may or not have been true, probably takes off for Manhattan or Vail every other weekend if he can help it, or that somehow he was governing in a vacuum. You know, uh, his decisions had no impact on the economy. Now, you and I don't remember it that way, do we? That's not what happened. Governor Corzine's been a part of the big tax, big spending problem that's put New Jersey in the situation it's in to begin with. I mean, there are 16-year-old little girls with credit cards in a mall that have more fiscal restraint than John Corzine on any given day in Trenton. And that's the truth, Save Jerseyans. And that's a problem. And so that's why when John Corzine gets up there at his annual budget address and lectures us on how we need to do the hard things, I just can't help but laugh a little bit. Not because I think it's funny what's happening to our Garden State, but I think it's ridiculous that the governor thinks that cutting a little bit here and making the state workers go out for a furlough for a day or two and maybe taxing the quote-unquote rich over here, somehow that's going to bring New Jersey back to fiscal health. It's absolutely absurd. The only thing that is going to save our state are fundamental changes in the way the trend does business. We need tax cuts, deep tax cuts. We need deep spending cuts. We need to change the entire culture in this state so the government becomes what it was meant to be, something that protects our rights and enables us to rise as far as our industry and our intellect allow us to go. It's not supposed to be something there that's supposed to socially engineer, that's supposed to artificially decide who wins or who loses. It's not there to line the pockets of politicians who think they deserve to be enriched because somehow they know how to run our lives better than we do. That's not the way that I thought it was supposed to be, Save Jerseyans. That's not the way our founding fathers wanted it to be. And that's not the way that our children deserve it to be. We can do better. And we will in 2009 if we stick together and make sure that we hold leaders like Governor Corzine accountable. Don't forget, he ran on the fact that he was a Wall Street wizard. And right now, there's a lot of CEOs being raked over the coals by his Democratic Party for the mismanagement of their companies and the effect it's had on the economy and its employees. John Corzine does not deserve any special treatment.